Hi everyone, and welcome back to Animal Crossing Fun Mode! Yay! Oh, I'm so excited. I'm still reeling from the last part where we got set up with the perfect island. Uh, just the luck was insane, wasn't it? It really was. But today we are jumping into our first full day on the island and we've got a lot to do, so let's jump straight on in. Let's go! Can you smell that? That's the first day of spring, a brand new island and crippling debt to a raccoon. <laughs> I'm really excited to continue this today. Oh my God. I've kept it obviously at the same time, but this is actually the next day for me. So we've got quite a lot to do today, but let's start by getting our mail. We've got our paradise planning photo and we've got a gift from Nintendo, which we can get rid of that letter. Let's have a look. What do we get? I think it's usually the DIY, isn't it? Possibly. Yeah, so that's our DIY ready. Okay, let's put that photo away first of all. Forget how limited the inventory is right off the bat. So <laughs> the sooner we can upgrade that, the better. That's going to be a little bit of a struggle. But let's just put the photo in here. Oh, you can't. I'm trying to hang it on the wall for in a tent. I don't know um yeah that should be fine just place it here can we push it back yeah okay perfect oh so it's to the nook mile grind so one of the first things we need to focus on today is getting our first 5,000 miles so we can pay off our house now i do have a handy dandy checklist <laughs> if you remember this from my hard mode island oh my god i i come across it again in my files it's like oh i need to use that it's super cute but this is, this is just like a bunch of things that we can do right off the bat to get those miles and hopefully pay off our house as soon as possible. So we'll be getting most of this done today, hopefully. Now, let me just have a little look here. First things first. So let's get rid of all these alerts. Um, I'm going to leave the island life on for now, but I just want to get the alerts off the apps. Yeah, we don't need anything like that right now. Oh, zero nook miles that's that's very important actually so before we jump on in guys let me know do you want to do a hunt for our villagers with you know as many nook mile tickets as we need or do you want to keep it limited and only use what we can earn ourselves so let me know in the comment down below before the next part hopefully because that's when we're going to probably be hunting for our first three villagers and i'm kind of torn between which way i want to do it right now so yeah I kind of like both like I really like earning everything myself I find it super satisfying but then at the same time after having all the restrictions from hard mode and you know how tedious it gets after a while when you just want to find you know the perfect villager and so on and also you know it makes the, the hunt very very short so I don't know and I, I'm thinking about the possibility of you know the bingo games we can do again and things so I'm really really torn and I need your advice on that so I'm just literally changing one of these patterns to get some nook miles right off the bat so all we need to do is just change something and that will give us some points I'm not going to design anything just yet all right next up let's edit our passport and get this done this will also give us some points so let's see uh let's do our photo first and we'll just take a little cute photo done and we might as well use that as well why not now let's do our comment and i'm just literally going to put fun mode because i have no idea what i'm going to put on this yet um hopefully i can spell it right this morning <laughs> okay fun mode it is that will do for now I'm not going to worry about it too much. Have we got an exclamation point here? Oh, it's this way. Me and this keypad still are not great friends. Right, perfect. Okay, and we just need to change our title. Um, we don't really have much option at the moment. So let's just do deserted island. Deserted island. Island dweller. I think that will just do for now. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's our passport all set up perfect and then i think we can take a picture of our gorgeous island which i'm actually i'm actually going to run over to the airport to do oh hi ursula maybe we'll take a picture with ursula 
Is she going to walk off? Ursula, come this way. Oh, all right. Close enough, that will do. <laughs> all right. And then we might as well grab what we've earned. So let's see. We've got our first miles. Not quite going to be at the 5,000, but we're in a good start at least. So we've got 500 for just starting. Then we've got another few hundred here for the photo. Perfect. What else have we got? Edit credit for the passport. That's another 300. And you know I'm going to have to get the tall ring as well. So I need to make a little bit more. Oh, <laughs> on a second. Oh, I missed it. She was right behind me just then. Just literally in my personal bubble. No sense of space. Bless her. Okay, so the first custom design. Not that it really was a design, but, you know, we got the points. So we're at 1,600 already, so that's really good. And if I just have a quick look at the checklist. Um, right, so there's quite a few things we can do. We've done the custom design and passport. We obviously need to gather all our weeds, collect some fruit, shake the trees, get stung. You know, a bunch of stuff here that we can do. So let's get cracking. I think the first things first is I'm probably gonna gather up all the weeds shake the trees as i'm going and yeah and then we'll go see tom nook so we can hopefully get our first lot of tools mm, i might need that first so we'll hold off on shaking the trees but i can at least get the weeds because then we can sell them we'll get some points for collecting the weeds and for selling them and i'll grab some fruit on the way so let's cue the montage Well, the bonus of having a map with two south rivers is it seems like that took a lot less time than it normally does. Uh, I don't know, maybe it, maybe it didn't, but it felt like that wasn't very long at all. But I did have a quick run around and make sure I didn't miss anything. I collected all the trees, um, all the fruit from the tree, should I say, um, all the branches. I think I got all the fruit. It looks like I did. So let's head on in and see Tom Nook get some bells and then we can start racking up some more miles we should hopefully be able to make our first tours as well which will be really handy because then we can start collecting things ready for blathers which i'm really excited about Ah, oh, you know i've never completed the museum and i intend to do all of that in this series this is literally going to be completing everything going through all the stuff that i've not gone through before doing more of what i don't normally do so i'm really really excited okay so can we do the diy yes we can we can do the diy workshop perfect that's exactly what i was after so let me do that first about that workshop tom can you sign me up because i could really use a rod and a net right now before i do anything more i'd love to i think i've got plenty of resources so i will have a quick check of that in a moment when you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. Uh, we, we've got the hang of it already, don't you worry. This will be a breeze. Alright, so, yeah, we have more than enough of everything we need. And I, yeah, I feel like last time I did all the weed collecting, I was about, about up to about five or six stacks. So there's definitely less on this one initially. But that means there's going to be a lot more to collect once we can get across the rivers. So that's fine. But definitely off to a good start. So yeah, we've got everything we need, Tom. Let's get started on crafting a fishing rod. Oh, you just know our first fish is going to be a sea bass. It's just, it just can't be any other way, can it? 
<laughs> but let's get our rod so we are ready to go and hopefully we can we can if we make another two i think we get some nook mile points i believe it's for three diy tools it could be five but without checking i believe it's three so i'll have a look at that in just a moment all right so we're gonna get our first few recipes as well lovely oh yes there we go i was thinking it was gonna be the critopedia for a moment but no it is the diy one so we've got a flimsy rod which is not going to last us very long so maybe i will make a second one because we are this time we are playing during the day i think last time we started we was at night and we really struggled to find anything but hopefully being that we're in spring and we are playing during the day we should find a lot more okay so we definitely want a net so let's get that brilliant and I might actually just make the bonfire for now because I might be okay for the tools, but I would like a little campfire. And that hopefully might get us some points as well if it is three. Beautiful. That can go outside our tent. Did we get some points? I think we did. Uh, no? No, it just... Oh, this happened to me before as well. It throws me off because it tells you you've got points, but you haven't. So how many is it? that's the diy diy tools oh it is five okay so we need three more all right well we could actually make some now and i'll just drop them by the tent we might as well those points are very much needed so let's get another net might actually go for two nets because that'll be handy for tomorrow when i'm shaking the trees as well um let's see have we got enough let's make a second rod no, we're going to need some more branches to get anything else. All right, so that can wait for now. Um, I'll tell you what we could do. We will get the recipe for the leaf umbrella to make from weeds, so I'll keep a few weeds behind. Let's go and find our villagers and do that now because then I can sell off everything else. And I think I, think I am going to hold on to some bugs and fish. Obviously, the first one of everything will be donated, but I'm thinking about CJ and Flick because what i did like about hard mode is keeping that stuff for them villagers because what i find is i tend to sell everything to the nooks and then when cj and flick show up it's you know not very interesting because you you haven't got anything for them and you don't make as much money obviously if you sell them to the nooks ah oh, hi ursula you're not trying to leave already are you <laughs> you're very close to the airport ursula I'm getting a real good vibe from the tent plot you picked out for me. Thanks for the hand. Oh, you're very welcome. If you ever need anything, don't be shy. Grump. <laughs> well, I look forward to changing that, that catchphrase, but that's really sweet. Ah, okay, so she's given us the recipe for the leaf umbrella. So that will be... Ah, uh, that won't count as a tool though, will it? So but it'll still count towards crafted items, which would be great. But yeah, I will need to make... I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and try this tree. Okay, no wasp. Good. Although I do need to get stung. That's one of the things. Well, I need to get stung twice. So the first two wasps hopefully will be... Is that all I'm going to get? The first two wasps will hopefully be in this section of the island that we can access right now, which would be great because then I can get the points for passing out. And then I'll catch one later for blathers. All right, I think that should do us enough to get one more tool let's go say hi to Lyman because again we can get some points from keeping in touch with our villagers you're looking bright and colorful at least you're a nice green and not the horrific green of the airport that you can get <laughs> you're actually a really lovely soft green I like that color I hope we can keep looking out for each other like this oh I really am happy with our villagers I think we've done really well with them we've got good ones and he's given us a hat all right, what kind of hat we got here? Let's have a look. Oh, wow, my inventory's already full. Oh, it's orange like our airport. I like this. That's very cute. I'm going to keep that on, I think. I don't know. Yeah, we'll keep it on for a little bit. What do you think, Lyman? What do you need? I just want to chat. Oh, look, he noticed. Hey, isn't that a hat I gave you? It looks great. Really shows off your head muscle. <laughs> oh, bless him. That's cute. I forget that they can do that when they've gifted you something. All right, so we got some points. Is that for our villager chats? Yeah. 
Okay, so we've got a few hundred here. Brilliant. So we're getting up there already. We're almost at the 2,000 mark. Let me just clear off the alerts for the DIYs. Yeah, I know. We've got a few recipes. Only three at the minute, but we will certainly be collecting a lot more. I really enjoy um, collecting everything myself when it comes to the items and stuff. I did Treasure Islands once on my very first island when I discovered them, and it was super exciting. I did so many trips. I filled up my island with hundreds upon hundreds of items and DIYs I'd collected but then I found myself just kind of losing interest then because the, the challenge was taken out of it for me and I'm one of those people that really enjoy the challenge of starting from nothing and earning everything so I mean don't get me wrong treasure islands are super fun and I love using them but I think specifically for this island as I do plan on it hopefully being a forever island oh look he's got his little flag I definitely want to collect every recipe and that I can and every item, you know, myself. Because I think that would be, just be a lot more fun and a lot more satisfying for me. But saying that, I am going to visit a treasure island. Um, if you guys do want me to get the Nook Mile tickets so that we can do an unlimited amount on the hunts that we need. The only reason I will be visiting a treasure island is for the fruit. Because you can only get the other fruits from other people. I know you can get your sister fruit from the Nick, uh, from the Nook Mile Islands, whatever that's going to be. Hopefully oranges or cherries, I would like. Not that it really matters, but it would be nice. But you can get you can get your sister fruit from there. However, everything else, the other three, you can only get from other people. So I could even visit one of you guys to get them or just grab them from a treasure island, which is generally what I normally do. It's just quicker. So we will probably do that. But you need to let me know about the Nook Mile tickets, what we need to do there, because I'm going to go with your input for sure on that one. So let's craft one more tool and get the points for that. What am I going to need more, do I think? A rod or a net? Uh, I think I'll go for a third rod. Yeah, let's go for a third rod. It doesn't really matter. They don't last very long anyway. But that should be the five that we needed for some more points. Let's see. Yes, there we go. So we got a few hundred here. Beautiful. So we're at the halfway mark now, which is great. So let's just have a quick check in. What else can we do here? So we need to shake our trees, get stung by the wasps, obviously catch bugs and fish. And then we can use those for the indoor and outdoor deco points. Um, we're going to do the buying and selling now and then we should get some flowers at some point as well. So yeah, we're pretty much on a good steed for this. Let's see what you've got to sell. Oh, they look so cute. Still got their scarves and their jumpers on. I'll take a look. What do you have? Anything good? Oh, I don't think I've ever seen a tissue box right on, you know, day one. Normally it's like a hammock or something. They've got the picnic basket as well. I'll probably get that, I think. All right, so we've got our flowers. We've got hyacinths, tulips, and orange windflowers in here. We're going to need a slingshot. Um, one thing I do like to do is usually craft all the tools myself rather than just buy them, although sometimes it can be a lot quicker and easier. And we need a DIY recipes. All right, so we need to sell to you first and get some money. I've got a lot of weeds and a lot of apples. Well, actually, I don't think I have that many apples, surprisingly. But let's have a look. I want to sell. Right, so what have we got here? We've got... Right, nine. So we've got 39. That's quite good, actually. I didn't think it was that many, you know. And we'll get rid of all these for now. Because I don't really need them for anything. I'm not going to make the umbrella yet, so... All right, that'll do, I think. How much is all that worth? 7,500. Brilliant. Okay, that's fantastic. When you eat food like fruit, you'll find yourself energised with more power than you might have imagined. <laughs> Wouldn't quite go that far, but yeah. <laughs> so he's just letting us know about the fruits. Right, let's grab those points. So we'll get the greedy weeder points now because we've sold them. So how many did we actually collect? I'm curious. So we obviously hit the 200 mark. Wow. That is really good. Okay, so we got quite a few points from that. And then we've got some from selling the fruit. Okay, lovely. 
So we are already only 1400 away now from being able to pay off the house. Oh, I actually missed something. What else we got? Ah, the cellar. How much we get for that? 300. Look at that. So just 1100 to go already. That is fantastic. Okay, let's have a look in the recycle box. Of course, Tom needs to tell us about it. Will they have anything in there just yet? Maybe not. Maybe a cobble box or something. Yeah, <laughs> it's always a cobble box. All right, great. And then let's have a look at the machine just to get the intro out of the way. So we can use Nook Shopping at the moment or the ADB. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Oh, we will. But I'm mainly doing this to get our first 50 miles. Yeah, there we go. All right, perfect. Let's have a look at Nook Shopping and see what you actually... I've never really looked at it on day one, I don't think. Anything here that we kind of want? Oh, oh, there isn't a dive suit. Is there not? Marine song. Normally you get a dive suit. Oh, that's so strange. So I'm not going to have that yet. All right. Well, that's okay. What else we got? I've got a pie and a blossom lantern. I'll hold off on those for now, I think. Um, Yeah, and we need to get the campsite sign from here as well. So I'll get that at some point. Yeah, but no, nothing we need right now. That's fine. Okay, so we'll sign off from here. Now, let's learn the DIYs we got so we can free up some space. And then I'll go and drop off all these extra tools, I think. And we can get cracking. Uh, what have we got here? Leaf umbrella. Yay! Okay, fantastic. Now, um, what did I get here? That's the cardboard box that can go away. We need to move our rod up because we want that first. I wonder if it's worth me getting the tool ring right now. Hmm, probably not. I don't really need it. I've, hopefully we'll be okay without it for a little bit. But it is certainly easier. Um, mm, I might come back and grab that first before we pay off the house. I don't know. I do struggle without it. <laughs> I get so used to it. That's the problem. Even when I haven't played for a while. But let's go drop off these extra stuff. And then we can start getting those last few miles. I'm just going to pop them probably down. Yeah, just down here by the house I think we'll do for now. So let's drop that. We'll come back for it when we need it. But at least we've got a few tools ready, so I'm not going to have to keep stopping and gathering stuff. Oh yeah, the campfire. So let's put our little campfire out, maybe here. Uh, let's go about here. Yay! There we go. Very cosy. Might as well grab some shells as well while we're at it. So have I got anything else I can drop off? Oh, the cardboard box yeah i don't really want that so on in my inventory so i'm just going to drop that up here out of the way for now we'll just put it here where they've unpacked i want to place stuff though because you do get the points for it so it's definitely worth it all right so now we can start racking up our miles so let's start by doing our bulletin board all right so we've got two new messages here island residents and visitors should feel free to use the bulletin board and we'll post important notices. All right, I'm not very good at reading, clearly. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to do a very simple welcome to Elysium. <laughs> I hate drawing without a stylus or using the, the actual handset. I can't do it with the joysticks, but I'm happy with that. Welcome to Elysium. Just so we got something to mark our first day and we will get some points for that, which would be great. So that will bump us up even more. Okay, bulletin board benefit, and that's worth 300 points. Look at that, we're doing so well. So now, what I'm going to do is we're going to run around, shake all the trees, try and find some wasps, maybe some bells along the way, and then we can start gathering our items for blathers. Yay! Yep, see, I already went to use the touring. Let's get this. Actually, no, I don't actually need that, because I want to get stung, don't I? So... Well, let me start right over here and work my way around and hopefully find the wasps.
<laughs> so that's one down. I wonder if Ursula will give me the recipe. What's up with your face? Did you get stung by a wasp? Oh, look at her. She actually looks really worried for us. Bless her heart. Do you have any medicine for me by any chance? But you know what I mean. I bet that does hurt, though. If I had medicine with me, I'd give it to you. Oh, brilliant. I will show you how to make medicine. Oh, thanks, Ursula. That's super handy. Exactly what I was hoping to get. Two birds, one stone. Points and the recipe. So let's learn that now. God, we look awful. I still hopefully need to find one more so that we can pass out and get then we'll get the points. But let's just admire this. <laughs> Even Ursula is just like, what is up with your face? <laughs> All right, let's continue on. So we found our first piece of furniture and we got a ants press, I think. Okay, can't really do much of it right now, but it could be a good accessory for Abel, so we'll definitely keep it, I think. And I will put it out somewhere because it will count for our decorational points. But I still have one more wasp to find. Yay, here we are. And that's our second wasp sting. Oh, I'm sorry to do that to you, little mini lunatics. <laughs> but it was worth it for the points. I think we get them, don't we? Let's see. Take the sting out. There we go. All right, so we've got 300 points for that, which brings us to 550. And we do have one for finding a piece of furniture in the tree as well. So that brings us to 4850. Fantastic. All right, so we're doing pretty well there. We can go and make our medicine now as well. Oh, let me grab that shell. I think the shells, actually, I didn't put them on the list. Did I? Did I put them on the list? But that you can actually get them no i didn't but yeah you can get points for collecting the shells but we don't have too much beach space that we have access to just yet so i don't know if we'll collect i think it's 20 maybe that you need first maybe we'll try all right but i am gonna need oh no i sold all my weeds and i can't make the medicine oh, i did not think that through <laughs> I did not think that through. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you know, worst ways we're going to just look like this until tomorrow, but that's fine. Uh, oh, I didn't pick up the other nest, did I? All right. Well, it's not the end of the world. We could at least start catching some bugs and things. Let me, hmm. Do they, maybe they're selling it. Let me go and have a look. If they're selling it, I'll just buy some for now. Let's put the pants press right here just to get rid of it but also give us some points for later. Can't believe I forgot about that. <laughs> that I would need some for medicine. All right, um, any chance you have any? I don't think you do, do you? Oh, you do, fantastic. All right, panic over. It's little Timmy Nook to the rescue. Just one will do for now. Hopefully I can avoid it in the future. Now, do we want to grab... i tell you what we do want to grab. We want to grab the DIYs. Yeah. And I'll get the slingshot recipe. Hopefully this will let us craft the axe. And I can just make it myself, which, which would be preferable. I would like to just make my tools. I don't know. I like the struggle. <laughs> it's so much easier to just buy them, especially when you're in the middle of decorating and stuff. But, you know, I do kind of like to just... I don't know. I find it more more fun that way for me. All right, um, the slingshot we definitely want. So I'm going to buy the recipe for it. Mm, is there anything else we want here? 
I don't think so. Um, we will get some flowers. Hmm. I should probably plant some because I will get some points for it. Let's just get some of our native flowers for now. I am going to eventually want to get all of them because one thing I do really want to do is breed all the flowers. I've never done that, as I mentioned before. I've never actually, I mean, I've got some by accident or some intentionally, but I've never gone through and got all of the colours. So I definitely want to do that. Um, don't want to get any others just yet no i'm gonna wait for leaf to get the rest of them but i'm just gonna take 10 of the wind flowers i think and that'll be enough for now i won't worry about the water uh, do i want the watering can right now probably not i don't think we have the recipe for it yet anyway do we what did we get just now no we didn't even get the tools just yet i think we're gonna get that from tom nook aren't we all right so then let's get the points that we just got have a nice diy oh okay so for learning more recipes and there you have it we've actually hit the five thousand already and i haven't even started collecting the bugs and fish wait is there more first time buyer oh okay there's a little bit of a delay on that one but okay oh brilliant okay um how much do we need for the touring i think it might be 800 Oh, we don't have access to the Miles Redemption yet. We need to pay off the house. Wow, okay. I was not expecting to pay that off this fast, especially without even collecting any fish or bugs yet, but that's great. So let me just learn this recipe. We'll get that out of the inventory and then we can make a slingshot very quickly as soon as we get the recipe. Uh, the rest of the tools, I mean. Um, the medicine, that's what I need. Ah, uh, there we go. All better. Looking good. Right, Tom. I'm, I can already pay off my house. It's not even been two hours. <laughs> uh, about my moving fees. Yep, we are ready. And we only need a few hundred to get the touring, so that'll be great. Yay, that is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. Your moving fees have been paid in full. Oh, that's brilliant. So we can actually get our house ready for tomorrow and finally get some storage as well, which would be great because... I don't want to drop everything all over the island. <laughs> it's great. I do like the tent. I actually love having a little tent, but it doesn't come with storage, unfortunately. So we're going to need a house. So let's discuss the possibility of building a custom home. Of course, it's with zero interest financing and an extremely lax repayment plan. <laughs> oh, Tom, forever the loan shark. All right. Yeah, we're going to be checking it out. But I really want to get that house going because we can get the Nook Miles Plus then as well. So about my home. I've made a decision. Yeah, I am ready to jump into another loan already. This time it's going to be £98,000. <laughs> wow. I forget how expensive these are. All right. So you get to choose from eight different colours for the roof. What kind of roof do we want? Can you get orange? Let's see. No. Uh, hmm. I might go aqua. We are in a nice sunny season and it will kind of match our hat. Why not? Let's do aqua. See what it looks like tomorrow. We don't like it. It's, we can change it on the next upgrade, I think. But at least we'll get the Nook Miles program now so we can redeem our miles. Hopefully that will let us get the tool ring. But I don't know how much we need for it. I, I do think it's about 800. If I remember rightly. Yeah, it could be about five. Oh, but we did get some miles. That'll be for paying off the house, I believe. Yay! So now we can easily earn more points with the Nook Miles. What are ones we got to do? Catch a cruise ship carp, catch bugs, fish, sell items and buy items. All right, well, we've already done that at the moment, so I won't be doing that just yet, but we can get our first lot of miles. And that should cover us for the tour ring, which is what I really want because, yeah, it's just easier. So much quicker. Let's have a look. Your account is now registered. Let's see. Redeem some Nook Miles. All right. Ah, this is where you get the wetsuit. I don't know why I thought it was Nook Shopping. All right. Well, I do want that ready for tomorrow as well because that will be super handy. But 
I want the tall ring first, so I will leave the, the wetsuit for now because it's not really essential today. But the tall ring is essential. <laughs> Very well named. All right. Yay. We are having a really good day. Very efficient. Very quick to get our house paid off. I mean, I am not intending to rush through any of this. I'm definitely going to be taking my time and enjoying it all. But I'm glad that I was prepared with a little handy dandy checklist. And it helped me kind of remember what I need to do. Because I do generally forget things all the time, as you know. Now, the only other thing I really want to get accomplished today, before we wrap up ready for the next part is going to be catching the five bugs or fish that we need for blathers i really want to make sure he's on the island tomorrow did you just push me <laughs> feel free to chat with me anytime if there's anything you need to help you get used to living here oh tommy you are a cutie the bulletin board is where we'll share information yeah i know and definitely it'd be lovely to have visitors sign it one day yay okay all right before i was so cutely interrupted yes so we're gonna need to catch five bugs five fish uh, as a minimum i believe to get blathers ready on the island so let's get to that right now and get him on his way well i guess that's it <laughs> so that's the end of the net i do think we have enough though we've filled our inventory pretty much so we've got a couple of new bugs we've got a few new fish and weirdly enough i didn't actually catch a sea bass every fish i got was something different um apart from a sea bass which is very very strange considering you can't normally get away from them but we got more than enough to get blathers on these way to the island and we've got a few duplicates that we can sell as well. But I'm going to actually place those for decor. So let's go see Tom. Let's put them out for a minute. Because I don't know where, where I'm going to put Blather's tent. But I need to... Let's put the duplicates out. So we've got... Right. So we've got one and one and then one. Those are all the new ones. Then let me just move everything up that I need to kind of donate. And the duplicates can go down the bottom. All right, so that'll be our fish. And then I've got, yeah, then we've got that one there. We haven't got any duplicate fish, I don't think, which is great. Okay, so we've got one, four, five, six, seven. Okay, perfect. Right, let's just put them here for now, because I, I don't know where the tent's going to go, but I want to get some decor points, hopefully. So let's just pop them out here. Okay, that's two. These ones won't stack, will they, I don't think? No. Okay, that's fine. Well, we can just pop them in front. So let's place that there. Don't worry about it being neat just yet. I just want to get them down. Alright, so let me grab the stuff that I dropped. Oh, I haven't made our slingshot yet. Oh, no. 
All right, well, that always happens to me. I always miss the first balloons. Let me just pick up my resources again because we might get the recipe for that in a moment and I want to be able to craft it or at least craft what I need. But we have got some points actually, so let's see what we've got. Might have enough to actually order the wetsuit. Oh wow. So we've got the Crucian cart points, which is great. I forgot all about that. We've caught the five bugs and the five fish, which is great. So again, more points. Brilliant. We are off to a really good start today. Um, the rest we'll do a bit later. For every bug you catch... So we caught the 10 bugs. I didn't quite do it the fish yet, but at least we've got it going for for the for the bugs. Okay, and we've got some for trashing our first tool. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah, I need to pick the new one up. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, there we go. Exterior decorator for 10 items outside. Wow, look at that. We're up to another 2,000 already. That is amazing. That means we've got 7,000 already in our first day. We've paid off our home. Have I got another... Where did I put That's the net. Okay, perfect. So let me just move that back up here. And now I need to move that. All right, this is going to... Don't judge me. You know I'm a little bit weird with my organisation. <laughs> but I like to have it all grouped together, even though I'm about to hand some of it in. So... We need... I'll get rid of these two. One, two... Oh, I see another one up there, which I'm going to have to go catch. So let me just move that. Because it's all bells, and we're going to need the bells. Alright, let me get my net ready. I'm glad I actually made the extra tools now. And let's catch you. Perfect. Alright, did you see how sad poor little Ursula looked when she tried to catch the butterfly? Oh, it melted my heart, seriously. Her little face. So cute. I felt kind of bad catching it right after her, but we need it. <laughs> All right, Tom. I've got some interesting creatures for you. I found a creature. Right, so let's start with the fish down the bottom here. We got a bitterling. Yep. An old friend of mine runs a museum and I'd love to send it to him. You can. I've got a few more for you yet though. This is no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app. Alright, so we're going to get our Critopedia now, which is great, so we can keep track of everything. Another thing I've never completed, but really hope I can this time. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it anyway. I want to get everything done. I want to do all the things. All the things. Alright, so let's give the rest of these items to Tom. So we've got another creature. I might save as many bugs as possible for blabbers, because we all know how much he loves them. <laughs> yeah, send that along as well. That's fine. By the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench? I have actually. I made some extra tools. I didn't quite make the slingshot though, which is... I need hardwood for that, so hopefully we'll get the axe soon. Maybe he might give us that now. Some more tools. I hope so. Yay! I just sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood. And the recipe to craft an axe. Perfect! That's exactly what I needed so that I can get my slingshot on the go. I don't want to miss any balloons. All right. So, creature number three. What do we got? Let's have a look. Uh, we've got another fish. Yeah, I think I am just might just give all the fish, to be honest. And then I can <laughs> torture poor bladders with all the bugs. All right. So that's our Christian carp donated. Oh, we've got another reward. Some flowers. Some red tulips. Oh, I'm glad I didn't buy them because I was gonna I was debating buying one of each, but perfect. Okay, so we've got an extra little bag of flowers. We'll definitely just plant them, at least for the points, until I make a proper flower garden soon. Alright, I think we got one more item and then that should be enough, I believe. And we will give him the dace. 
Okay. Yep, send that along as well. Beautiful. Oh, okay, so they'll spring up even if you just plant them to get them, but if you water them. Great, okay, so we're going to get the watering can as well now. I probably will get that crafted. I normally wait until I get the pretty good tools because I don't really like using just the single watering can. It's, it's a bit of a pain just doing one flower at a time. I'm too lazy. <laughs> I need the efficiency. All right, so... Wait, am I missing... Oh, okay, was that only four? I thought I did five for some reason, but let's give him one more. Um, let's give him one of these tiger butterflies. Yeah. That should be our fifth one now. I obviously can't do maths. <laughs> Alright, is that enough? Yay, here we go. Blathers, is that you? What splendid timing. I know, it's almost like he was expecting it. I'm currently stationed on an island we've decided to call Elysian. Yeah. Come help us. Five outstanding specimens so far. Should be enough to bring them over now. Oh, I do love blathers. I wish Celeste had her own spot in the museum as well, or outside, like an add-on outside. That would be amazing. As you all know, Celeste is my favourite. Oh. I could use your help, lunatics. And so it begins. <laughs> All right, so we need to go find a spot for Blather's Tent. Now, I have no idea actually where I'm going to put it. I have no idea. Um, I need to actually check if I've put... I'll, I'll pick up the rest of everything in a moment because I want to make sure I only put the duplicates down now. Well, they're actually going to go inside the house so we can get the points for that. So... What can I... Let me just free up some space here real quick. So, And I'll come and grab it all back in a moment. So let's drop those. We should probably go and sell those in a bit. Let's just drop it all for now. Just to give us some room. Oh, okay. Let's drop that one there. Okay. So now we've got some room. Let's just move this up one. And I can pick up the rest of these. That way I can just place down the ones that need to be donated in a moment. We need to figure out where we're going to put his tent. At least for now. It doesn't have to be in its... It's definitely not going to be in its permanent spot. Right, let's have a look. Um, I, I want to leave that bottom right side for where we're going to just put all our villagers for now. So they're all close together. So I might go directly where this sort of behind the resident services is and that river. That kind of is a similar spot to what we had before on a different map but i think i think that'll be quite a nice little spot for him let's see let's have a look is that oh we're too far okay let's go back a little bit i don't want to destroy this rock hopefully um hmm let me just check that it's not gonna be i mean kind of is a good spot or we could go directly next to resident services. But I kind of probably will end up putting the shops there. So um, do I want to move it more over here? Maybe. No, 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 no. Not a fan of that. Um, a bit more room maybe this side. Let's try this side. No kind of thinking if I want the waterfall in the middle. Let's imagine it and have a look. Hmm. No, I'm not feeling it. Not feeling it, guys. I think I'm just going to go back here. Um, I think that should be enough space. I kind of like it here, I think. Let's imagine it. Yeah, it blocks the view of the waterfall a little bit, but it's not going to stay here. It's just going to be for the early game, so that's fine. That will do. Be a nice little spot. Blathers can set up his place now. All right, so how does that look? Let me just move out the way. How does that look on the map for now? I didn't want it directly behind, but I kind of wanted it as centre to, to that waterfall as possible. I actually kind of like that, so that will do for now. It's only for now. 
Okay, have we got any more? Right, yeah, we need to put this stuff out, so let's do that. All right, lovely. So those are the ones we need to donate. So that gives a good start for tomorrow. And these are all the duplicates I can go sell in a moment. Um, but we'll use them to kind of put some stuff in the house, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to need eight, nine, nine tomorrow. All right, let's pick all this up. I don't want to leave it all out and forget about it. We'll go sell off. Hmm. Actually, let's see if we can how much we can put in the house. I don't know if it's five or ten that you need to put out, but we'll try. Let me put those flowers here. I don't need those just yet. Okay. Hmm. Five might be enough. Let's check. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a struggle to try and put ten down when they're all the little ones that don't stack. <laughs> Let's have a look. Did we get some for that, maybe? Aha! Yes. Wrong button, though. Okay, so how much did we get for that? 300. Brilliant. Okay. I can take those back out now. <laughs> I'm going to take them out and sell them. They've served their purpose. I don't want them cluttering up my tent. We've got a little bit restricted on the space as it is, but could use the bells more right now so let's get them back out and we'll fill up our house once we actually get a bit more room for some more points beautiful oh, i'm really glad with how this is going it's so tempting to record like back to back twenty five thousand parts because i just i'm enjoying this so much it's so fun to be back into it and playing again and your comments already on the first part just really mean the world that people are excited to see me back and you know enjoying the first episode yeah it just it means a lot so thank you so much it really really does but this is the final thing we need to do so we're going to sell this off and then we'll probably call it quits for the day oh i take it you found a suitable spot for blathers to set up i did it's perfect for now I knew I could count on you. I'll let Blavis know that he can move in as soon as he wants. Yay! Okay. All right, Timmy, I need you to take some stuff off me. I haven't got much space. All right, so this is all the stuff we can get rid of. Not quite a bit here, at least. That should give us a little bit more money. Yeah, 3,000 bells. I'll take it. Beautiful. Right, let's order the wetsuit because I definitely want that for tomorrow. And that will come on the Nook Mile. So yeah, it will be delivered tomorrow. All right, so let's get the wetsuit. It's only 800. Beautiful. And that will do. I'm not, normally I like to buy the full diving suit. I don't know, it's just really fun to kind of have the snorkel, the shoes and everything. I'm not worrying about that just yet. I'll wait until we've definitely got some more miles. Especially if you guys tell me that you prefer that we earned all the miles for the villager hunts, then that'll be a different story. <laughs> all right, so I think we're going to wrap up this part right here. I really hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. I'm so excited to keep playing. I really am. This has been a lot of fun great first start to the day and we've already paid off our house and got blabbers on his way so it's a really really good start and <laughs> look at little tommy here with his flag um helping us out that's great so in the next part we've got even more stuff we need to do and yeah it probably won't be all in one part i don't think i think it's probably going to be more than one but we will see and i'm actually going to be talking to you about our plans for the island and getting your advice on some stuff so i look forward to what you think of that but for now, I just want to say thank you so much for all your support, for your lovely comments. It really does mean the world. And I will see you soon in the next part. Thanks a lot and bye.